Okay, we have some red paint down on this one already. So what we're gonna do now is throw down a little bit of gesso. And I'm using gesso instead of modeling paste. And that was a mess. <laughs> You gotta be careful, I guess, with some of these stuff. This is a stencil from Deco Arts, and I just went kind of under. That's okay. Trying a different uh, stencil with this project. And you don't have to use a stencil. Um, I just, you can just throw the modeling paste, or actually, this is um, work. The modeling paste didn't work as well with this project. So I'm using um, gesso, and it's a quite a thick gesso, and I'm really enjoying it. So I'm um, I'm sticking with the gesso for now until I buy maybe some more different spackles and that kind of thing, which I do gotta get. But I'm not in a hurry because I just use what I got, so that's always good. I'm just using some Windex in an alcohol bottle, but it's Windex. In case you guys are wondering why I'm what I'm cleaning my top with here. This is getting that. Yeah, let's put some cleaning videos on. That's what you guys really want to see. Okay, so now I got that on there and I see I should have just stopped the video and, and cleaned. Okay. I'm just going to do, I'm going over with well, all the paints that I have here and I'm just kind of picking up what is still damp that I've been playing with throughout the day here and picking up my color. And I'm thinking I'm going to go in with more teal, so I'm going to throw that on. I'm going to brush a bit. So the whole idea for this is just to really make layers of color. You can paint between them and do different things. Um, I'm spreading it out. Sometimes I spread it out with a brush. Sometimes I spread it out with a uh, um, the palette knife, um, depending on how thick. I want it on there. And I'm actually going to go right on here because I really want some thick, there we go, colors on here this time. So I'm just going to be really sloppy. But I really want to put thick layers. So it works best if you let it dry for hours in between layers. Um, or if you do all the layers and you kind of just let it dry for a day or whatever because it takes a while for all the moisture to come out and for a good job of it, perfect job of it, you want to have all the layers dry. Now I'm just kind of going over it with some scratches here before I dry this layer up. I want to do them with you guys watching me too. Why? Just because do something different try to do different things all the time so I'm gonna dry that up now I'm thinking of adding some yellow and I'm scraping it on with my palette knife this time and some orange you could do as much or as little as you want I'm gonna try to cover a lot see what I don't know see what happens here now I'm gonna go and see if I have any red left. Don't have any red left. Oh, a little bit. Try to pull some red on there. I'm going to dab a little red on there. Because I want these colors to come through. And now I'm going to dry that up. This week I'm still in my heart mood, so I'm going to be using that um, concept still doing my hearts. Um, you know, it's like one of the most common uh, shapes out there for people to paint and draw. And yeah, it just, it's beautiful and yeah, it works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use black gesso for something different. And I'm going to throw that on here. Just for something different on that card there. 
And by the way, just to let you guys know, you guys can always scrape off your leftovers onto another card and have some another piece started for backgrounds. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a little bit of white, um, just white paint. Paint over this a bit. Try to be more careful with that. I don't think I dry that really well. And a little bit of blue now. So I'm just going to dry that off with a little pipe of heat here. And playing. I've got some coastal waters here and I'm going over all of this with some coastal waters. Because I can. We'll see how well I can get it all over. I might have to brush it on. Oh, too much water in my brush. So I'm going to brush that on and try that. This is going to be a fun one, I think. There we go. Coastal Waters has got like an antique look to it too. I love it. Get done here. Like these hearts are something I want to do a series of for a while until I get tired of them. And so I'm looking to do that. So this week, again, another heart. You can do any shapes. Um, I'm enjoying the hearts. Really am. Everyone loves art. So I'm just going to do that. It's becoming a very big heart. It's okay. There's no mistakes. Um, I think I'm just going to play with it and make it, shape it a little bit better. Do I want it to come right to the edge? I'm not sure. Well, maybe I'm going to let it go right to the edge. There we go. Let it go. Now, today I'm just trying flipping this puppy over. making this heart really huge today for some reason and I really would like to make it bigger it's kind of hard when my card's only so big but let's see there we go beautiful here it is I'm going to pull in some orange actually right here. Usually I go this side, the dark side. Don't always have to do everything the same. So I'm just playing with it. Hmm, I'm going to grab a little the blue here. Throw it on this side. See how that blends in. This is the same blue that's on the outskirts. So a little bit of black. If I can pick some of that up, it makes it a little gray, huh? I like that. Now I'm going to throw a little more lipstick on. Lots of color, lots of layers. Thick, 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 I know. You guys are like shaking your head at me. Too thick. So I'm pulling paint off that's behind there. 
that's what happens when you keep playing but that's okay because this is the kind of painting that you can just play and, and do that with okay I am done with that I keep pulling off my paintbrush here. Pulling off my paintbrush. So I am going to let that dry now a bit. Anyhow, see what kind of comes through on there. Just to see what comes through on that one. And I think that'll be it for that. I'm going to sand it down. I got a different um, stencil in there as well. And I still got the, the um, diamonds. So I'm excited to see how this one turns out. Grab my sandpaper. Let's boogie. I'm already getting some black coming up from the. I would ideally should be waiting for it to dry a bit more. Of course, I did do black gesso, so normally this would be coming up white more. But white looks different. Let's see what looks like a black gesso behind it. Black gesso didn't dry as easily as the white. Oh, oh dear. Might have to let that one dry a bit more. Well, I'm going to keep working it. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to dry a bit in between sanding though. Going in on the edges here a bit first, letting my heart cool down and dry it up. Put a lot of heat on there, so there we go. So I think some of this gesso here didn't dry initially very well. I was going too quick maybe with my layers. Hey, that's okay. I'm gonna go in circles to try to clean that up a bit because I really smeared some of that around. So some of that's coming off there, some really nice color. Looking good. So the gesso that was way too wet is really coming off, but that's okay because it was way too black. <laughs> So this one I really didn't need to ink the outside because I added uh, the black gesso. I'm just going to go a little harder on the sides here. Look at the layers coming off. So guys, just let it dry for a couple hours in between. I'm really putting some pressure on it now. Now, of course, I did a lot of layers on the heart, so I was going over and over. Just go in different directions, too. You don't want to get just peeling one way or standing one way. It's coming along. It's different. Different, different, different. really grungy so patience there we go some of that black's coming off too much it's too overpowering
but the rubbing alcohol really works good at picking up and just if you're careful you don't you know be careful you can work it you don't want to take the whole everything off so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some a pile of the spray on the side look at how much is coming off here in black I'm just going to pick up some of it and work little sections there. See, that's much better. Much better. Yes, it's pulling off some of the red as well, but the black is coming away. And as long as you're not over rubbing it, you can kind of determine what you want. I'm going to get some of that grunge out to kind of repair it. So the black gesso was a little much for me. But if that's a look you guys like, go for it. But like I said, you can repair it. It's not a mess. It's not garbage. It's not over. And you know what? This is not even like, this is just making another look come through so take it as that it's just another step of the process that you're doing to make what you planned <laughs> to come up and this is the uh, I'm going to try grab some white I don't have much white in here and it's pretty dry so that could help me actually because we'll see how much I can pull on here because this heart is really I'm not doing black gesso unless, I don't know, maybe it's a huge project. <laughs> the black was really overpowering for this particular one. So what I'm going to do is I put some white on. I'm going to pull some off without, and I'll lighten it up a bit. I don't think, well, let's see. There we go with the alcohol again. Ah, there we go. But I did lighten it up a bit. It's a play. And you know what? I ended up wiping off what I did with my calligraphy pen. Ugh. Who knew? Maybe I'm just going to go and do something really bold. Since I don't know. Sometimes you just got to go a little bold. Let's try that. Just to spray that. You guys won't be able to see much of that. Being bold with it now, I just put some alcohol spray on the Indian ink here. And sometimes you just don't know how it's going to turn out. I don't know if I need to use the alcohol ink, but it's there, so I'm using it. I don't know. It does pull the color out, so. And it's going to evaporate and not sit on it as long as water would, so. Put a little bit like this. You guys can see what I'm doing. Pull a little bit up. Why? I do not know. And that's it. There we go. 
different. Not exactly what I was planning. Quite different. Sometimes you just let it go and do what it wants to do. And you get something really cool out of it. After all that, I'm like, ah! I'm gonna go this way now. Okay, this is not a piece that's <laughs> that didn't work. work the way I was like oh. for a second there I was looking okay but okay so this heart for me oh, didn't work the way I wanted it to went through a lot of crap but I'm still playing with it and I'm not gonna give up on it I don't think so what's the point of that so I'm just going to put some edging on it here like this. The ink just was not, it was too mm, predictable or inky. I don't know. It was just not what I was going for. And I know I was not even going for that. I don't know why I even tried it. but. Okay, so I'm going to go with the mm, some shimmering misters and I'm going to stamp my love in there before I do that just because I like to have it naturally cover. I'll see how that turns out. My misters on there. And I wonder, maybe I should get some red misters and throw it on. We'll see. Gonna do a little bit of red misters. It's not the matching color, but I think it'll look neat. A little different. Went through a lot with this one. It's not exactly what we planned, but it is pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I'm dabbing it because I don't like the hole. Sometimes I just don't like the hole. Gonna dry this up. I'm gonna add a little bit of gold and then I'm gonna dry that up with the um, um, play color uh, metallic gold I'm gonna put some gold on there now this project looks great we went through a lot of stuff that we weren't sure about weren't happy about but when it comes down to it um, we have to be willing to accept imperfections to make perfect art if you understand um, we are hard, so hard on ourselves and and not to say that you know just throw things together but we didn't just throw it together we put a lot of thought into it but you know not everything kind of worked or we're just kind of too hard on ourselves or whatever and if we're able to accept imperfection and and just having fun with it and more of letting the art take over then we're going to have a good piece so this really we worked it and did a lot of crazy stuff to it but look at how nice it is it is nice it's not perfect it's not as good as maybe someone else's but it is it is good work and it's your own and you can be proud of it and not everyone's gonna see all this process this process i kept it in here i kept my negativity in here which i shouldn't have but i'm like oh i don't know i don't like this but i mean this is real 
art. This is real world. This is <coughs> how it is. We're not always happy with everything and we got to learn to accept it and roll with it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this process. Don't forget to craft like a duck and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.